Hello, how are you? This is Kay, and I hope you're having a great day today. So in this video, I would like to introduce one of the most successful and famous woman Japanese traders, and her name is Yukiko Ikebe. So today, in this video, I would like to introduce herself and also how she made profits over time and how, what kind of strategies she was using. And also today, I will be introducing one of her strategies, which is uh, done by RSI. So, and also finally, I will um, share her message to you as a trader. So I hope you will enjoy the video. So let's get started right now. So as usual, I made a slide. So let me turn the page to that one. Just hold on. Okay, so again, one of the most successful Japanese woman traders, Yukiko Ikebe. And so first, I actually have chapter one to four. And first, let me talk about who is Yukiko Ikebe. Okay, and um, in 2007, National Tax Agency in Japan reported there was a trader who evaded tax. And that became uh, such a big news. And uh, I also remember this news. And that was very big in Japan. And I saw the internet website and uh, I saw that there's a big news in TV also. And she actually made profit of 4 million USD and evaded to pay 1.3 million USD tax. So suddenly out of nowhere, that news came out and that shocked in Japan in terms of how she made profits. And that actually, you know, gave some hope to the traders in Japan back in those days. And also in overseas, outside of Japan, it became big news. And it was reported as Mrs. Watanabe or Kimono Trader. So I think this Mrs. Watanabe, the name is coming from this incident and that actually made herself very popular. And her nickname is Kimono Trader because she is a big collector of kimono also. As, she, as you can see on, on, on the picture, uh, she, when, when she does talk or seminars, then um, or pop, show up on the medias, then she wears kimono. She wears kimono and um, shows up. So she is a big fan and big collector of kimono. So she was also called Kimono Trader like this. So second, uh, how she grew her profit. So she has been trading since September 2000 and made total profit of 8.3 million USD. So first she had been, she has been trading USDJPY and EURJPY and EURUSD because in Japan, uh, Forex trading started to be available in 1998. So back in 2000, we were only able to trade USDJPY, EURJPY, and EURUSD only. And so she started in early, uh, early time in Japan Forex history. And first, she said she bought EURJPY at 9200 yen price and EURUSD below $1. So the price is really low. If you look at the trading view, uh, today, Euro, uh, sorry, U, uh, USDJPY is marking 147.68 as of uh, 6 of September 2023. So you can, you can see how how low she was able to buy the you know JPY pairs. Euro JPY is also even higher now. It's um, so right now it's um, 158.339 level. So she bought it very early timing, and she kept holding in the long term. And also later on, after a few few year, few after a few years. Uh, we were able to uh, trade AUDJPY and New Zealand JPY. And back in those days, AUDJPY was still at 60 yen, and New Zealand JPY was at 55 yen. Because of the interest, interest rate difference, 
um, Australia and New Zealand's interest rate was much higher than Japan back in those days. So she ba basically traded by fundamental, fundamental analysis and she bought it and kept holding in the long term. And that's one of the ways she made profits. AUDJPY right now is, um, let me see, this is 94.169 yen. So it's really high up already. So you can see that, uh, sorry, you can see that uh, she bought them very early timings. And also uh, later she traded uh, TRY JPY um, because the interest rate in Turkey was 16.75% in 2008. So she also bought that pair and kept holding in the long term. So in this age, uh, between 2000 to 2008, she has been trading long term uh, based on the difference in interest rate among the countries. And plus, she has been trading short term too. So now, let me introduce how she traded in short term, her trade strategy, chapter 3. So she has been trading since, um, yeah, since uh, 2000, and sorry, I already covered it. But uh, so here is the uh, portfolio of her uh, asset. So among the total profit of 8.3 million USD, Two third is by long term trading and one third is by short term trading. And leverage four to five in the long term and 20 in the short term tradings. That was uh, what leverage is she was using in these different um, uh, trading terms. And in terms of the short term, 80 to 90% was done by technical analysis. And she uses Shibata Keisen. Uh, Shibata Keisen is an, uh, one of the Japanese uh, techniques. This is different from candlesticks, like Heikin Ashi, different from candlesticks, but this is one of the classic uh, Japanese techniques, Shibata Keisen. And also she was using candlesticks and RSI, MACD, and Bollinger Bands, and she was also using Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, and Fibonacci, and so on. So she has been using multiple different indicators to uh, build her strategies. And she has been changing over time. One time she has been using Shibata Keisen and MACD, and other time she has been using RSI and Bollinger Bands. So she has been using some different strategy, different combination of the strategies. So today, let me introduce how she has been trading RSI was one of the, uh, as one of the examples. So her RSI strategy in the short term, she was using RSI with period 13 and 42. So let me just delete S. She was using one single RSI with period 13 and 42. And she trades when they separate 20 points away. And she doesn't trade when the lines are together. So let me show you how it looks like in trading view and how she has been trading with RSI. So here is a trading view. And um, so this is um, ADJPY daily time frame as of September 2023. But um, below I showed it RSI and the yellow line, let me show you the setting of RSI. So RSI length 13 and type of MA is simple moving average and MA length is 42. So um, she was using a 42 moving average and RSI 13. And whenever the RSI deviates, let's say here, the, the RSI goes all the way up to 80. So here, um, up here is 80. You see the top of the RSI is 81.88. And the yellow line, the moving average part, was 58. So 58 and 88, sorry, 83, 81, 82. So this is, uh, the difference is not about uh, 30, but this is more than 20. 
difference. So this is when she took cell. So she takes cell when RSI deviates from moving average, then take short. So that's how she traded. Same is true when she buys it. Uh, she bought, she buys the market when RSI goes below um, moving average 20 points. So here, the lower part of the RSI is 28.30 and the moving average is 47.69. So the difference is about, about uh, 20 here. So when she sees it, then she buys it here. She buys here exactly here and keeps holding the buy. She doesn't really take, talk about how she take profits, but uh, that's her entry strategies. And as you look at the markets like this, then looks like the strategy works really well because this is a divergence trade from moving average based on RSI. So you can actually uh, you know, find some opportunities by this strategy. And um, I think that's really great too. This is USDJPY. And on the 13th of July this year, RSI marked all the way low at 30 and moving average was 63. So there is a big deviation. The RSI deviated all the way down. And then if you bought it here, then you have been making some nice profits already. So this is one of her strategies. And that's how she traded in the short term. And at the same time, again, she keeps holding the trade in the long term. So again, two thirds is by long term and one third is by short term trading like this strategy. So that's how she has been trading also. So she has been, of course, using uh, PC and monitors, but the way she took some entries and exits were really simple. So she was not using multiple windows. She was using only one screen or only up to two screens and her strategy were very simple. So finally, let me uh, uh, introduce her message to you as a trader. So she says, first, after all, it's up to you whether you buy or sell. You need to study well and practice. And as you keep trading, you will start to have right decisions. Once you start to make profits, you will become confident over time and start small with 0.01 lot size. And also she says, set your own rules, apply money management. When you run big loss, then it's too late to think what to do. And also finally, she says health is the most important. And I totally agree with her comments because that's basically what I also think too. Um, after all, it's up to you whether you buy or sell or not trading. So all decisions is are up to you, whichever strategy you use. So you kind of you kind of have to take responsibility on your own decisions on your trades. And also, um, start small is also very true. Um, that was one of my biggest mistakes. Was that the uh, I I started too big back uh, when I started my trading 10 years ago and uh, I blew account and that was so stressful and I, can, I cannot uh, remember how many times I thought of quitting trading because I lost such a big money. So um, yeah, start small is always uh, top of my head. So I think that's something you have to keep in mind also. And also, um, you know, apply money management. You know, if you don't apply money, money management, then there's no success because as she says, when you run some big losses, then it may be too late for you to think about what to do. And health is the most important and I 100% agree with this comment. So because even if you have lots of money, if you are unhealthy, then you won't be able to enjoy life. So. And also, if you're unwell, then you may be having some wrong decisions in trades. So I think health is the most important uh, component to stay focused on what you do in your trades. So that was overall uh, comments about her. 
So、um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And like this, I continue to share more Japanese traders. So far, I have shared, I took、uh, you know, multiple videos about BNF, one of the most famous and successful Japanese traders, BNF, and also CIS, and also their conversation between BNF and CIS. I took the video a couple of weeks ago. So if you haven't watched that yet, please do. And also, I hope you continue to enjoy. The videos like this in my YouTube channel. So, finally, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great, great week and great trading day. So, until I see you next time, please stay healthy, stay safe, stay gold. I hope you become a non losing trader. In Ichimoku community, I share the original knowledge of Ichimoku. In KTS Academy, I share my original strategy including risk and psychology management. In GTS, I mentor your trades and follow up one on one closely for the three months. Take a survey to find out which course suits you the best. Thank you very much for watching the video until the end. If you liked it, please press like button and please subscribe. And until I see you next time, please stay healthy, stay safe, and stay gold. Bye for now. Matane. Thank you very much.